John's in his stance. What's going to happen is he's going to use a, a kind of slight downward parry with his hands. So when I jab and cross move this way, let me push up. I'm going to knock it down and knock it down. So he's going to parry it down with his right. So as I jab him with my left hand, he parries it down with his right. Then he parries it the cross with his left hand. As that goes down, that allows him, this hand's busy parrying, but the other hand can shoot forward and grab my neck. And he can clinch up and give me three knees. So it's a right parry, left parry, grab and knee. Parry, parry, grab, one, two, three. Obviously you kind of want to parry the cross down and grab pretty quick. But when you're learning, start off nice and slow. So parry, parry, grab, and then two, two, three. You don't ever really want to reach with both hands at the same time to grab my head, because if John does, I can off balance him. If John does, I can come over the top and then elbow. If John does, I can split his hands and knee. So bad things happen when you reach with both hands simultaneously. Safer to keep one hand up and grab with one hand and then with the other hand. Make sure your back of your hands together, your elbows are squeezing on the clinch. You want your elbow tips on their chest, hands on the back of the occipital bone here. Top their head down and then you can start kneeing to the body and the head. Slowly, parry to the right, parry to the left. Step in, grab the head. One, two, three. So that's the first one. Uh, sometimes though, I'm trying to throw a jab cross on the hook. So John needs to bicep stop me, move his way this way. So he's gonna parry, parry, but I'm already loading this left hook. So he sees it, he can cover it first, bonk, and then put his hands on my bicep. Or if he's feeling super confident, he can just go straight to the bicep, kind of stiff arm, stop it. From there, he's going to go up to my head, and then grab around my head, then go three knees. One, two, three. So he knows that I'm likely to throw a hook after a jab cross, so he parry parries and then reaches out, catches that hook. Parry, parry to the bicep, grabs over my head, other hand on the head, knee, knee, knee. Notice he's squeezing down with his elbows, elbows on the chest, hands on the back of the head. One more time. Parry to the right, parry to the left. I'm throwing a left hook, his right hand's gonna go to my bicep. Boom, his chin is down here, just in case it goes wrong, it can roll over the top of his head. So he keeps his chin down, reaches up. Parry, parry, please jump. Bicep control, grabs over my head with the left arm, then the right arm, let's not knee. One, two, three. Could be three knees, could be six knees, could be nine knees, whatever works for you. The last one, he's gonna stay in that collar bicep position. This is quite common in Thai boxing. We have one hand on the neck, controlling. Notice he's breaking my posture. One hand on the bicep, controlling. Because this allows you to knee, it allows you to off balance, allows you to throw. So it's quite a common position, it's very strong. So John's gonna go, parry, parry. Get bicep control, grab my head. He's gonna deliver a right curved knee to my body. Boom, so a curved knee. Goes out and then shuts down. Keeps his hand on my bicep. He's got a left knee on the inside of my thigh as he turns my head down towards the mat. And that will lead to a throw. It's called a steering wheel throw where you grab the head, grab the bicep and you turn it like it's a big wheel. To facilitate that, it gives me a knee on the inside of my left thigh. Take my balance, flips me over. It's a big throw, very common, very effective. Parry, parry, goes to the bicep. Grabs my head at the same time. This is called bicep. Neck tie, gives me a right curved knee, a left inside knee as he turns my head. And you kind of want to do that simultaneous. So if you give me like a left switch knee to that fire jump as you pull down my head. So left switch knee. Yeah, switch it and then pull down and that's it. Do it again. So he's going to go left switch knee to the inside of the thigh. That's it. And that'll throw me. It's a combination of the knee going to the thigh, head control and bicep control that throws us. One more time. Parry, parry, bicep control. Right curve knee, left knee to the five, third. So those are three ways of getting into the tie clinch and how to use a tie clinch. Let's quickly recap. Number one, he's gonna parry down and grab. So he's gonna parry right, parry left, grab right, grab left, three knees. Number two, I'm gonna throw a left hook on the end. He's gonna parry, parry, go to the bicep. Then go to my head, both sides, three knees. Next he's going to go to the neck and bicep control. He's going to stay there. Grab, curve knee, and then you can switch to the spin. Yeah. That's how you get to the tie clinch off a jab, cross and hook.